Hello, this is Peter from First Maths and today we are looking at Year 5 Block to Assessment Paper 2. Calculators may be used throughout this paper and the answers are going to be at the end of the quiz. Look at the rainfall graph below. It shows the rainfall measured on six days in March. How much rainfall was there on Wednesday? Pause the video until you are ready to see the next question. Here comes the next question. Question 1b. If the total rainfall for the week was 200 millimetres, what was the rainfall for Saturday in millimetres? Pause the video and answer the questions. Here comes the next question. Complete the graph by drawing a bar for Saturday's rainfall. Pause the video and answer the question. Here comes the next question. Question 2a. You have a choice of a book for £2.99, a cassette for £1.25 and a CD for £2.50. How much would it cost for three books? Show your working out. Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. Question 2b. How much would it cost for two CDs and one cassette? Show your working out. Pause the video until you are ready to answer the next question. Here comes the next question. If Gemma bought three cassettes and one CD, how much change would she get from £10 note? Show your working out. Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. The A. This table shows the cost of dry cleaning clothes. How much would it cost to clean a skirt and a suit? Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. How much would it cost to clean two pairs of trousers? Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. This, how many blouses could be cleaned for £10? Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. Look at the times at the leisure centre. These are the times that the leisure centre is open. What time does the leisure centre close on a Thursday? Pause the video until you're ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. How long is the leisure centre open on a Sunday? Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. Which day is the leisure centre open for ten and a half hours? Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. 5a. Table tennis charges for children. Look at the table to see how much they have to pay for a different amount of time. Megan plays table tennis for 2 hours 35 minutes. How much does she pay? Pause the video until you're ready to see the, to see the next question. Here comes the next question. 5b. Tommy plays table tennis from 9.30 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. How much does he pay? 
pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. 5C. If adults had to pay double the charge for children, how much would it cost for two adults to play for 2 hours and 15 minutes? Pause the video until you're ready for the next question. Question 6A. The chart shows that you can exchange $1.4 for every pound. How many dollars will Sandra get for 110 pound? Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. 6B. How many dollars will Archie get for 105 pound? Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Question 6c. The chart shows that you can exchange $1.4 for every pound. How many pounds would you need to buy $42? Pause the video till you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. Question 7. Calculator exercises. Complete these number sentences. Look at the different calculations and work them out with your calculator. Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. Question 8. Calculator problems. Complete the table below. There are 18 biscuits in every packet. How many full packets of biscuits could be made from these numbers of biscuits? Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. Question 9a. Rounding up. In a concert hall, there are 26 seats in every row. How many rows of seats would be needed for the following audiences? Pause the video until you are ready for the next question. Here comes the next question. Question 9b. On a school trip, there needs to be one adult for every 16 children. How many adults were needed on the following trip if you need to round up? Pause the video and till you are ready to answer the next question. Here comes the next question. Here are the answers. Question 1. The answers were A 50 millimeters, B 10 millimeters, C bar to 10 millimeters. Two A, B, and C were 8.97, pound 97, B 6 pound 25, C 3 pound 75. Three 9 pound A was 9 pound 45, B 5 pound 90, and C. Four pound. Number four A, ten pound in the afternoon, ten p.m. Four B, nine hours. C, Saturday. Question five A, one pound fifty. B, one pound. C, six pound. Six A, one hundred fifty-four dollars. B, one hundred twenty-one dollars. And C. Thirty pound seven A three thousand eight hundred sixty five B one hundred sixty point five C twenty three point one eight D seven hundred sixty five point seven E fourteen point three three F thirty three thousand two hundred ninety four G one thousand three hundred thirty five point six H ninety eight I eight J seven thousand nine hundred thirty eight eight thirteen one hundred fifty seven eight twenty two fourteen fifty five nine A twenty nine eight twelve thirty nine nine B 12, 
16, 19, 16, 18, 22, 22, 13, 29 and 29. Click on this page for more videos. By simply clicking on the middle button you can subscribe to my channel and then you can click on the notification bell if you wish to get even more notifications than usual. You will be one of the first to know when I have uploaded new math resources. Every one of my math resources is designed to make math teaching easier and more fun. To explore more of my maths channel, please click on one of the two videos here. Have fun, love maths, and have a great day, and I will hope to see you again very soon. Bye!